Thanks to modern advancements in firmware technology, even big, old, heavy printers like this Ender 5 Plus can boot, scoot, and boogie so fast that it justifies better cooling. This machine is just a Cartesian motion system, and it runs at 15,000 millimeters per second squared at a safe velocity of approximately 250 millimeters per second. I can push that velocity higher if I really want to, but the weight of the gantry is starting to become a problem at that speed. At these speeds, you're not breaking any world records, but you're definitely going fast enough to outrun the cooling capabilities of a standard 5015 blower fan. Luckily, Big Tree Tech BQ makes a product that'll fix this problem for us pretty easily. This is the Eco Turbo Kit, and it was supplied to me free of charge by Big Tree Tech BQ. This is what you're going to get in the kit. First, the fan itself. This little thing is kind of reminiscent of a CPAP fan, but it's not as complicated. Essentially, to hook this up, you've got two connections. One for power that goes directly to the power supply, and one is a signal cable that'll connect to your motherboard. We'll need to print some adapters to make this fit the CPAP hosing that we have lined up for it. And there's a little bit of code that we'll have to put in our printer.cfg in our clipper config. But beyond that, this is a pretty simple setup to do, so let's go over how we're going to do it. It comes with the wires you're going to need pre-crimped, so it shouldn't be that hard to get this thing going. You will need to 3D print some components to go along with the Eco Turbo Kit, depending on how you plan to use it in your specific application. Everything that you see in orange is 3D printed in ASA, so there is going to be a little bit of shrink to that. Just remember that when you're printing ASA or ABS. But in short, everything you see here will be linked in the description so that you can get the exact same stuff I'm working with too. The Eco Turbo Kit isn't quite as simple as just plug and play. There is some stuff you can optimize through firmware. To do so, go to the link provided in the description. It'll bring you to the Big Tree Tech GitHub, where you can find the specific firmware configuration for the Eco Turbo Kit. Simply go over to Copy Raw File, then go over to your Clipper installation. Go to Machine and Printer.cfg. We're going to scroll down until we find the fan. This is our fan. For our stock 5015 fan, this was fine. Well, we're going to comment out everything. We're not going to delete it because we still want to reference a few things from it. And we're going to paste the new fan. Now, what's important is that we have to define the pin. On our old configuration, we can see that it was PB7. So we can copy that and place it in our documentation. Everything else should be good to go, but you can edit these values as you see fit if you have issues or specific things you want to do with the fan. Hit save and restart. Let the machine do its thing. And just like that, Bob's your uncle. This is a 5015 blower fan. This is with the Eco Turbo fan. As you can see, we've got plenty, and I mean plenty, of airflow. This Benchy takes this machine approximately 22 minutes to complete from the very start of the print to the very end, not taking into consideration the warm up procedures that have to be done beforehand. The settings that I'm using in Orca Slicer to make this benchy comply with the official speedboat race settings and the rules. Here are those rules. So if we swap over to our Orca Slicer installation, you'll see that my speed settings are in line with that set of restrictions. And yes, this can actually be made to go faster, but at the current settings that we have, we're going to be able to demonstrate just why we need a better fan. So we're off to the races now. The fan is definitely quite loud, but 
you know, it's a trade-off you're going to have to make for good airflow like this. The front of the Benchy is definitely going to show some sort of improvement with better cooling. So let's take a look at just how much better it is. This is the 3D model we're going to be using to test the overhang quality. I wanted to make sure I give proper attribution to PW Dynamics. This test is great because it's a 360 degree model, meaning we'll be able to see the quality of the overhangs in every direction. Over in Orca Slicer, these are the settings that I've used. It's not speed benchy settings anymore. These are much more practical and realistic. So as we start out, it's going to be a cylinder that has an overhang that gets progressively more and more extreme as it goes up the model. You can see on the model just how extreme the overhangs are from 0 to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and so on degrees. This is the overhang test done on the 5015 blower fan. This is the overhang test done with the eco turbo fan. This is the underside of the overhang test done with the 5015 blower fan. This is the overhang test upside down done with the Eco Turbo fan. Admittedly, this printer does look like a hot mess of tech spaghetti, but it goes to show that even an old printer like this can benefit from a modern upgrade like that. Once again, big shout out to Big Tree Tech BQ for sending over the Eco Turbo Fan Kit for me to test out and show all of you guys. If you want to get your own Eco Turbo Fan, a link will be provided in the description. Now, there are two links. One of them is an affiliate link and one of them is a non-affiliate link. I am not here to sell you anything. If you think the inclusion of an affiliate link compromises my integrity as a reviewer, by all means, I will not be upset if you use the non-affiliate link. Using the affiliate link doesn't cost you any extra, but it does mean I get a small kickback from Big Tree Tech if you use that link and make a purchase on their website. It supports the channel and allows me to buy other upgrades so that I can show you guys what modding printers is all about. Thanks for watching guys, and as always, measure twice, print once.